Why does she do that? You. You can't stand it. She hates you. Tyler. Me. Tyler. She hates me. Tyler! Hurry up, you're gonna be late for school. No, 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 no one will want to hurt my mom. Unfortunately, someone did, Tyler. And I want to help. I want to find justice for your mom. But right now, we have no leads. I know she worked at Elk Creek Middle School. Does she have any problems with colleagues or parents that maybe got upset with her over her grades or something stupid? I don't know, detective. I, I never really went to work with her. How was she after work? Was she ever upset or a burden? Upset. Tyler, do your homework. Ignore her. She's trying to distract you. Me. Tyler, get off your phone now. Don't listen to her. You're almost there. I'm close. 73. 62. Tyler! 53. 43 more tells. Come on. 24. 17. 9. Tyler, do your homework. You can play on your phone when you're done. But until then, homework. She hates me. What happened? I was so close, I ruined it. You. No. She ruined it. Upset? Your mom would come home upset after work? Sometimes. Oh, uh, okay. Do you know why she was upset? Nothing unusual. Just upset about things. Uh, what things, Tyler? I need to know details. Well, she has been more upset ever since dad. Your dad? Yes. Yeah. I read a bit about it. I'm sorry. It's okay. My mom told me the truth about it recently. Tyler, do you blame your mom for what happened? No. Latest images released by the Russian military. Ukrainian forces surrender. Mom? Oh, honey, what are you doing up? It's late. I heard you. I was wondering what you're doing. I was just thinking. About what? Here, come sit down. Do you know what happened to your dad? You told me he died when I was younger. Yes, but do you know how he died? No. You're old enough now. Well, your dad... He, um, he had, he had voices in his head. They, um, they would tell him to do things, bad things. He fought with those voices. The doctors tried to help, but nothing, nothing seemed to work. I wish I understood what he was going through. You have voices she didn't. She didn't understand. When you were younger, Tyler, the voices in your father's head, he couldn't bear it anymore. And one night, he got up, he grabbed a gun, and he he 
She didn't understand him. I have voices. She killed him. No, yes. Yes, she did. She did, and she'll do the same to you. Tyler. What happened this morning? It was just a typical morning. I woke up, got dressed, walked to the kitchen. My mom was washing dishes. I ate breakfast. Grabbed my bag and did what every good boy does to his mother. What is that? I hugged her. Detective. Yes? Am I free to go? Hold on. I have a few more questions for you. Right, and our next one is called Raging Rudy. Wait! Stop! 
Hey, back off, freak. This ain't any of your business. Just take it easy, all right? No one needs to get hurt. Oh, someone's getting hurt. Just let me go. You already have my purse. Let her go, man. This is between me and you now. Oh, we got a big shot, huh? All right, buddy. I'll play your little game. You asshole! Show me what you got, you piece of meat. With pleasure. for the body. Right hook. Left. Uppercut. That was some clean cut fighting you did. Thanks. Who taught you that? Uh, my dad, when I was younger. Oh, it shows. Have you ever thought about competing? I've thought about it. I guess I've just been waiting for the right trainer to come along. I think I know someone. And our next one is called The Illusion. Have you ever felt like your life becomes completely meaningless without that one person? I'm talking about this type of platonic love that happens once in a while. People used to call them soulmates and they were talking about how it is wonderful to have one but nobody's talking about how horrible it is to lose your soulmate. Suddenly, the Technicolor days are melding into one long, boring day. You're suffering from insomnia, staying up longer, taking pills, crying. Suffering from insomnia, taking more pills, staying up even longer, drinking, feeling lonely. You become a hostage of your own memories with this special person. But at this point, were they actually happy?
birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Christy. Happy birthday to you. Thanks. Um, so in like 10 minutes, my friends are going to come pick me up. Do you remember John from junior year? We're meeting him at the club. Wait. I thought we were going to have a sleepover. You told me that this was a girl's night. <sighs> Julia, sometimes plans change, okay? Like, don't try to make me feel guilty for what I want to do on my birthday. I'm not going to feel guilty for going out tonight. Get you, girl. All right, give it up for the illusion. for our next film it came from the microwave give it up
boys are getting revved up watching the big game. Let's go. But there's only one problem. Yo, we're out of snacks. Uh, I can order pizza. I need something ASAP, dude. I need a whole elephant right now. Are you hungry for a snack but have an impatient stomach? Pizza guy says it'll take over 20 minutes. You don't want to deal with the long wait and delivery charge. No, no, that simply won't do. Instead, try the all-new Bambino's Pizza Baby Bites. Whoa! That's awesome! Oh, wicked! Containing what you love about pizza in a snack-sized treat. And these little babies pack triple the meat. Now that's a lot of sausage! Not to mention, they're ready in only five minutes. Really? So how does this actually work? Yeah, dude, what gives? It's simple. Either use your choice of a convection oven in your kitchen. Sorry, disembodied voice dude, oven's all maxed out. <laughs> Not a worry, or you can also use our all new state of the art convection style microwave. Whoa! Whoa. Introducing the Micronator T1000, made out of stainless steel and powered with extreme radiation. Awesome! Now we're cooking with power, baby. Yeah. Sorry, was that too much? I felt like we were on a roll. Like a, like a. Like a pizza roll, like a like a pizza like roll. Like. I, I got it, dude. Anyways, go ahead and simply pour those bad boys into a bowl. Once inside, crank that knob to five minutes and watch how it uses radiation waves to unleash the gooey goodness. Those waves are pretty gnarly. And in just five minutes, those tasty treats will be yours to indulge. You know, Matt, no disrespect or anything, but uh, you said this would take five minutes, and right now it feels like uh, we're doing a Thanksgiving turkey over here. <laughs> you always give the best analogies, yeah. dude. No worries at all. In just about a quick four minutes now, those tasty treats will be yours to devour. And just wait eight more minutes for them to cool down, and then they'll be ready to consume. Oh. All right, I had enough of this. Yo, bro, what you do? Ooh, it looks like he broke the knob controlling the heat. Hence, you also broke the warranty on that unit. So we aren't liable for anything that could potentially harm you. So <laughs> I'm out. No, 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 wait, 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 no, no, no. Dude, I think it's working. I see the gooey goodness. Yo, bro, you may want to back away. Cause death damage redness. <laughs> since home at class in high school. There's something that stuck to me about the fruitful labor of motherhood, dude. I know I'm just a dude that likes to throw a little pigskin around, but uh, I think it's time I raise a little pigskin myself. What the hell are you talking about? It's a monster. We all were little monsters at some point, dude, but it's our mothers that made us into respectable citizens that we are today. Damn, I guess I never thought of it that way. But what are you so afraid of? Don't you want something more out of life than this? We both have masters in computer science, and we're still living off pizza rolls, dude. I guess growing up, I never had somebody like that. I, I just had the bros to call fam. I guess the real thing I was afraid of is becoming a dad. Then do it, dude. Let's both do it. Let's turn this frat house into a frat home. I'm gonna be a mom. <laughs> I'm gonna be a dad! We're gonna be a family.
Hey, dude. Yeah. The Thanksgiving turkey's ready. Sick. I'll be there in a sec. <laughs> That was, it was, that was, it was, came from the microwave. Give it up. All right, and this one is going to be the last film of the first block, Stockfish. Give it up.
it's a stalemate. Huh. You're right. You want to play again? Sure. Where'd all the pieces go? All right, that was Stockfish. All right, and as of right now, we will be beginning our audience Q&A with the filmmakers of the first block. So that'll be happening in around a minute or two, okay? Thank you, guys. Uh, we're going to start the... Q hey everyone, Patrick wants our attention. Thanks, Alicia. You're welcome, Patrick. Uh, so we're going to start the Q&A panel for our first block. Can we get the filmmakers of uh, Charlie's Quest for Love, Raging Rudy, and It Came from the Microwave, and uh, yeah, can we have those filmmakers come up and uh, 
If the audience has any questions for those filmmakers, uh, they're here to take them. Yeah, do you want to go in the crowd? Yeah. Okay. And then you guys can just like line up in front of this okay. table. Hey, Harley. Hey. Hey, nice to meet you. What's okay. Up, Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so going from I guess screen right to left, can I have you guys uh, say your name and like uh, what was your role on the film that you worked on? So starting with you. Uh, I'm Harley. I was the writer director. I also played Rudy. I'm Luis. I'm the writer director of It Came from the Microwave and one of the bros. <laughs> Alicia, writer and director for Charlie's Quest for Love. Kelly. Producer. Producer slash Becky. <laughs> yeah, so if anyone has any questions, uh, just raise your hand. Anything you want to say to these fabulous filmmakers? Oh, wait, sorry. Can we, can we get the mic to you so the live stream can hear it? Hi, my name's Nico. Um, for the microwave, uh, mm -hmm. what uh, did you, um, in what kind of movies did you inspired um, in making that your short film? Oh, good question. Um, I was inspired by The Thing, and also just a lot of those like bad '80s horror movies, like Troll or Troll Two, like those movies. So I was really trying to go for that niche, and also every like '90s commercial, like we were just trying to parody that, basically. So yeah. Thank you. Hi, my name is Joshua, and this is for Raging Rudy. So I just have to ask, was your inspiration based off Napoleon Dynamite or like Scott Pilgrim? Uh, yeah, it's funny you say that. I'm, I'm, uh, I love Napoleon Dynamite. Um, I also love Hot Rod. I'd say it's very inspired by Hot Rod. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is uh, for uh, from what came from the microwave or. Um, Sorry. <laughs> um, what was the monster made out of? Because that, those were really good pack practical effects. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we went really cheap with it. I just bought like a hand puppet of Venom, like the character, and I just put like uh, expanding foam on it from Home Depot, and we put like slime on it, and that's it. Yeah. You did a really good job. Thank you. For uh, Charlie's quest for love. I was wondering um, kind of the behind the scenes of how you were filming at different uh, restaurants and places. Yeah, <laughs> super intense. Um, it was a lot of reaching out, a lot of scoping out locations and doing that. Um, we did have to find the right locations because we did bring a lot of equipment. Mm -hmm. Probably the most intense thing about filming was our lighting. So we usually operated with four to five lights per scene, lighting the whole space. Mm -hmm. A lot of our uh, day shots were filmed night, so we had to really replicate the daytime in, in the, yeah. Um, so it, w it was interesting. This is actually not the whole film. This is a part of the film. Um, we unfortunately were unable to complete filming on time so we actually continue filming on the 24th it's actually a completely different concept than what you got today um, so part of that was location issues that we ran into mm -hmm. but um it was a load of fun but a lot of work for four weeks yeah. like pulling that off in four weeks was i didn't sleep i slept last night for the first time it looks really good on <laughs> me <laughs> uh did anyone you reached out to say no to filming uh, yeah, so I actually ended up um, purchasing a spot on backstage, and we, we held auditions there for actors. Um, we had two audition processes, and then with locations, it was a lot of going in, talking to the owners, networking, um, letting them know that when this film is done, we do plan on submitting to film festivals. This is actually a film called Chad GPT, so it's a 35-year-old woman who falls in love with an AI while using the expertise to find love. So it's a completely different concept than what you got today. But yeah, very intense, very <laughs> intense. <laughs> do you want to add? My name is Hortensia, and I'm Nico's godmother, and this is my first time uh, coming to a film festival. Uh, the only thing I want to say to you kids, 
are wonderful. I enjoyed the film. And keep up going with your dreams. Keep up going. Because I think you could make a lot of great movies in the future. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That's all. So I had a question for Raging Rudy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so when you were making the film, did you have like a complete idea of Rudy's character just as you're writing that? Or is that something where as you're filming it, you got more and more into the role and you're like, this is how he acts? Yeah, I kind of had like a general idea of like who he is. But yeah, he's a very silly character. Uh, he's a silly guy. Um, but he takes himself very seriously. Uh, yeah, so that was, that was fun to write and everything. Dude, I loved it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Hello. Uh, my question is for Raging Rudy and for It Came From The Microwave. So being the writer-directors as well as the stars of the film, do you feel like acting in your own project created some... Uh, challenges as filmmakers? Do you feel like it kind of made the process more cohesive? Like, what was your experience with acting as well as writing and directing? Uh, I'll say uh, it's definitely harder to set up the camera yeah. <laughs> if you're filming yourself. It's, you know, with the, and if, if it's like a moving shot or whatever and you have to keep focus, that can be hard. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's fun. Yeah, I found it really tricky. So I originally wasn't going to star in it. There was three different actors who dropped out last minute. So I had to be in it with another actor, like a friend basically, and I had to call my friend like two days before and rewrote the whole ending. I originally wasn't going to be like a mom and dad at the end. We were going to have like a whole fight scene with the monster, but it became like a love story. So yeah, it was interesting. I think it turned out well. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I have a question for Nina <laughs> with the first film, uh, Waffle House. Uh, you were the director as well as the actor, um, which seemed like it limited you to like, you know, you used absolutely no dialogue. Uh, can you talk about just telling a story visually and like shooting a film by yourself and like how much of that film did you actually shoot and frame by yourself? Um, well, I shot, uh, <laughs> I mean, I shot all of it by myself for like the panning shots. I had like a friend come in and just do the pan real quick. Um, as far as visual storytelling, I just try to keep it as simple as possible. I don't know. I mean, I was super nervous to do it. I didn't really think it would, you know, if it was going to work out. It was my first movie, so I feel like I got kind of lucky that it did. Um, I don't have that much to say. <laughs> but, yeah, I had fun doing it. a question for uh, Waffle House. Um, is the protagonist on the uh, autism spectrum? Because the protagonist, like the smile person. Like the protagonist, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't. It's kind of I don't based know, on me. Because <laughs> to be honest, hmm. um, they kind of exaggerate their behavior, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's based on me. Yeah. 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 It just it just spoke to me because like um, with like safe foods and all that and how like you know oh. sometimes you can't go out um, with a healthy life. Oh. No, yeah, like I said, I just, well, I knew I wanted to film at Waffle House, so I try to pick some something that makes someone want to go to Waffle House really badly, so she had to be obsessed with waffles. It wasn't really safe food necessarily, but um, I guess you could say she's kind of autistic in the sense she only likes waffles and hitchhiking, and yeah, she's pretty focused, I guess, but yeah. Yeah, for Waffle House. Uh, do, do you work at Waffle House or? No. <laughs> yeah. I know. Sorry. I like, There's more films. And also, um, I was gonna ask. Oh yeah, for the traveling, was that like, were you already traveling, so you just did it, or was it like you just went there for the film? I just went there for the film. That's sick. Yeah. That's sick. Um, so. Um, I really like Waffle House, and I really like hitchhiking. So I'm trying to write what I know. So I knew I wanted to go to Waffle House, and I like road trips anyway, so I didn't mind. Um, yeah. yeah, so I just try to keep the script 
really simple and the shots really simple just because it was me you know mm -hmm. um so yeah and okay one more thing <laughs> for the book how did you like was that did you already have it yeah that's you? that's my book that oh, was okay. part of kind of the inspiration oh cool, is hitchhiking, cool. That's yeah. cool. yeah yeah One more question for you, Nina. Did okay. you take the dog to Arizona? No, Co didn't go to Arizona. He was just in that shot. <laughs> All right, anybody else? All right, everybody. So this does conclude the first block right now, and we are going to be taking an intermission. I'll be 15 minutes. Uh, we'll come back. 250. Sorry, 150. 150. <laughs> we'll and then just a special shout out over there to our film jury. Those are our co founders of Palomar's Film Club, Josh and Sebastian. Give it up. <laughs> Give it up for our club supervisor, Professor McMurray, everybody. Yeah, and uh, thank you to our crew that got drafted into this last minute, Professor Scott Richardson. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Peter Stoll, on that camera over there. Oh, yeah. And uh, while you guys are getting pizza, we also have a collection of the Bravura journals over here for your liking. Woo! Yeah. We got it. We got it all. So, um, yeah, we'll see you guys at 150. Yeah.
Uh, we're going to be starting block two with the Great Expedition. Hi, I'm Ethan Baker, and a couple days Hi, I'm Ethan Baker, and a couple days ago I received a letter Hello? Okay. All right, coming up next we have Pet Peeve, Lonely Shopping Cart, uh, directed by Jonathan Scott. <coughs> you guys aren't going to believe this. Um, you know what, guys? We're going to take five minutes to settle this. Uh, <laughs> can we get the lights back on? <coughs> OK. Talk amongst yourselves.
All right, Com coming up next we have The Great Expedition, directed by Jordan Chan. Hi, I'm Ethan Baker, and a couple days ago I received a letter in the mail from my great-great-grandfather's sister's son's uh, ex-girlfriend or something like that. I don't really know. All I know is that it's got coordinates to treasure on it, and I'm about that. Only problem is, uh, it said something about having to bring my sister with me, which is just, don't even get me started, but all I know is first rule of treasure hunting is always follow the rules. Yeah, I forgot about my sister. She's getting ready. No, no, no. Okay, we're going treasure hunting. It's a family letter written to both of us, and we both have to go, okay? But I just don't want to go. But there's a lot of treasure, okay? A lot. A lot of treasure. 50-50. Deal. Why are we stopping? Tommy's coming. No. So it's only no. you guys ready for a fun time, positive vibes, and an adventure of a lifetime. I've always been Ethan's number one best fan. But Amber has always made me her worst enemy. But deep down, I know she loves me like a brother. If Tommy and I were the last people on earth, I'd beat him up. Guys, I'm so hyped for this. I'm just so excited. You know, the thing about flies is they're small, but they're powerful. Have you guys ever heard me uh, play the harmonica? I Bits and bars. Dig up the treasure with my shovel. Find it and dig it up. Lots of money going in my pocket after I dig up the treasure. 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 Yes! Alright, Amber, you're hopping in next one, alright? Alright, hey, you got it? No, absolutely not. Ready? I'm okay. I'm just gonna drop a B, okay? No. This is like one of those Kanye West songs. Ethan, I need to pee. Ethan, I need to go pee. Hold it. One more time wouldn't hurt, really. No. One more time, then another time, and then now we're all just There's... stopping to pee. What do you expect there... me to do? Just hold it till we get there. No, I need to pee. Hey, women are different. How are you guys feeling? Ethan, I think I need some food. No. No, you're good. No, I really think I... really think I need some food. Tommy? Yeah? Tommy? Hey, Tommy. You good? Tommy! Wake up! Wake up! Yeah. Tommy, yeah. wake up! Oh my gosh. Tommy! Alright, is that hungry? Bro! 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 Ethan, look what you did. Is this the place? This is it. Wow. wow.
Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty excited. I mean, we made it. Treasure is just over yonder, so says the coordinates. I was a wee below back in my day with the Cub Scouts. That is until I was discharged for cutting a kid with a knife while I was trying to get my uh, soap carving badge. So yeah, I'm, I'm ready. What was I supposed to do? Apparently there's pitfalls. It's been about six hours, coming on seven, and we still have not found it, but we're still holding out hope. Right, team? Yeah, yes. Oh. It's, it's, been a, it's been a rough, rough day today. I found it. What? I found it. What? Dude, dude, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna... Oh. Do the honors? The greatest treasure of all is the adventure of life. That's deep. Yeah. Hold on, give me that. That's what I was waiting for. What are you doing? I don't... Is, is that like, is that a clue? Didn't you get it? This was the treasure. No. The, it, it's life. No. It's the adventure of life. No. Yeah. Isn't no. that amazing? No. There's... Oh my. It says that's the trip. I don't, I don't. Super positive message, right? It's not about the mess. The note said treasure. And you're telling me that it's a note? Yeah, that's the treasure. It's, don't you get it? It's like. Can you just stop, like, for one second? We had treasure, and it's a note. You know? Just, I, I, you know? I was just trying to help. We just do this every hey. time. Hey. Hey. Who cares about the treasure anyways? The treasure doesn't make you successful. Just know that I'm your biggest fan. Thanks. I guess it really was about the adventure, wasn't it? All right, guys, come on. Happy boy in a land of broken people. Do you want to know how to be positive? Hey, that's a spirit. That's right. Okay, up next we have Stuck Together. Demi. 
Sam? You're up earlier than usual. What are you doing today? Yeah, I actually have something pretty important planned out today. What is it? I'm actually going on a date. Wait, don't tell me you're still dating Basil. What do you mean by that? Dude, didn't she dress in sports equipment at your last date? She came straight from a game. You can't exactly blame that on her. Didn't she tell you that before? Dude, face it. You're just a flame. Yeah? Well, what about you and Boris? He, he never says a word while you hey. can't seem to- don't, don't talk about my boyfriend like that. Oh, hey, Basil. Good morning, Sam. I'm here to leave with Demi. Of course. Oh, Prince Charming! Your nine shiny armor is here! Just a minute! I thought I'd be picking her up! Oh, did you jog all the way here? Yeah! Yeah, uh, I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone and get in some light running before my date with Demi. Don't you live, like, three miles away? Um... It's actually closer to five. Okay, I'm ready to go. <sighs> See, this is why I wanted to pick you up. What's the matter? Well, I was thinking about going to this really nice place to eat. Oh, I... oh, good. I didn't want to go out to eat anyways. I'm thinking maybe we can go out and play some basketball? Well, anyway, you two go have fun. Oh, and me and my boyfriend are going to be here from 11 to 3, so just don't come back at that time. Cool? Cool. Let me just take... What? We're batting here. Sorry about ruining our breakfast plans. It was gonna be brunch, actually, but, but this is fine too, as long as I get to hang out with you. And, and besides, this is definitely more on your court. <laughs> we might be onto something. Um, but look, Basil, I, I have a meeting to talk to you about something. Yes. Oh, sorry, what were you saying? Oh. <laughs> Never mind, it's nothing. I knew you could do it. <laughs> My first basket. Wait. Oh my god. Did we just... Fuse? Fuse? What do I do? I gotta get out of here. Okay, okay, let's just think of a way to reverse this. I'm trying to watch my weight. Yeah, that looks good. Oh wait, Sam made this for him and Boris. Also, I hate salad. That's it! Something, Something we can all agree on! An apple!
Man, I feel so strong and full of energy. We, or rather I, could get used to this. Oh shoot, I forgot that Sam and Boris were coming back. But wait, that's it. Uh, I, got, I gotta hide up the stairs, I, I can't be seen like this. If there's anyone who I can trust to help me with this, it's Sam. Wait, what are you doing? I can't let them see me like this. But we need help, we don't know what's going on. No, I can't. Can't what? Be seen with you. <sighs> Demi, we, we did it, we're unstuck. We did, are you okay? Is what you were saying true? What are you talking about? That, that you don't want to be seen with me. No, no, not like that at least. Then why don't you ever call us a couple or do anything even remotely related to dating? I'm sorry, Demi. I don't know how to be in a relationship then. Honestly, you always want to go out and do like couple things. And I'd honestly rather just be doing nothing, you know, as long as I'm with you. <laughs> I'm sorry for being so overbearing. I. <laughs> I just want to make today special and just like have a good time with you and I guess I got it in a weird way. Aw <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Um, who are you? I could ask you the same question, buddy. I live here? I know Demi who owns the place. No, I don't. I... I mean, he doesn't know you. Wait. Demi... Basil, is that you? How'd you know? Whoa. Man, Demi. I guess you two are compatible. I mean, this is just so crazy. I mean... Like, how does this even happen, you know? Is it just is gonna it go isolated this to this area? Like... How does it even work? I mean, is this like an act of God or something? Like, are we, are we cursed or is- Calm down. Is... I'm not entirely sure. Okay, but who really cares, right? Hey, I know. Why don't you guys go find yourself or explore or something like that? There you go. Wait, but how do we, how do we unmerge? Just don't want to unfuse. That's it? Then why the hell did it work earlier? What now? I guess whatever we want. Oh, we're in a polyamorous relationship. Oh. Wait. Up next, we have a man named Worthless. Starting now.
police are trying to figure out how a man reported missing ended up tied up and burned to death in a wooded area. Channel 2's Tom Jones is live in Clayton County, where neighbors are on edge after this discovery. Tom. Happened, so you didn't say hello when I came in. You know, it's rude to do that, right? Yo, babe. So, how was work? It was fine. Why do you make a coffee? Six. Because I have to say it's pay the bills. Um, would you like a cup as well? Because I'm going to need some help. Nah, caffeine's bad for you. not listening. This is not right. None of this. We need to leave this place before it's too late. Please stop this. Every time we do this, we end up fighting and I just... We used to agree on this. Now look at us. We were 16. Of course we didn't want this life. I, I don't know what you expect, but I just thought this job was going so well for you.
Coming up next, we have Whisper of My Ex, directed by Rael Vargas. You're really gonna do this? After everything, you're just gonna give up? I am not giving up. I'm letting go, I cannot fucking do this anymore. You can't do this anymore. I'm not the one who cheated, Libby, yet I'm choosing to stay. Yeah, maybe that's the problem. I say that I'm leaving and all of a sudden you care to try, I'm done. Libby, don't go. You have to let go. Taylor? Taylor? Hmm? You seem distracted. Anything on your mind? No, not really. All right, it's been about a month since I've seen you. How have you been? I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Can I go now? You know you can't. Your friends and family are worried about you. You want to talk about Libby? No. Okay. Well, if you don't want to share your feelings with me, please write them in this. You know the only way to get better is to do the work yourself. Jesus, you scared the shit out of me. Oh, I'm sorry. How was therapy? Did you miss me? Sure. Oh, come on. You know you missed me. Jeez, will you stop? I have to prepare for the night. All right, all right. Jamaican. No fucking clue. I forgot about this stupid dinner and people are gonna be here in an hour. Need help? I would. You're actually... Here. Good. Still don't know why you guys insist I go. I'm doing fine. Are you sure? Can we just drop it? Obviously, no, you're lying. Why do you push everybody away? 
Nobody's gonna want to be around you like this. Keep it up and they'll all leave. Just like I did. Can you shut up? How long are you gonna keep lying to the people you love, Tay? Says the one who cheated. Oh, please. You act as if it's all my fault we broke up. You drove me away, I'm Taylor. Sorry, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? Where was that sorry for the real Libby, huh? Where's her apology? Stop. You neglected me, and you're neglecting- just Stop! You okay, Taylor? Taylor, are you okay? Right? What's happening? Can you guys just leave? Can we just talk about this? Please, thing? just leave. Okay? Okay. We'll just, we'll just leave now. It's okay, Tay. We don't need them, you have me. You know, the first time you came back, I was actually happy to have you back. We can still be happy, Taylor, that's why I'm here. No! I know why you're here. What, what do you mean, what are you doing? I'm doing what I have to do. I'm letting you go. What? Is it not clear? I want you to Come leave, Taylor. Libby. You need me. All right, and we have our next movie, Simulation. Give it up.
Oh, um. Hi, I'm uh, Cameron, the guy who answered your. Uh... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to barge in. I'm Alice. Oh. Well, the place looks great, by the way. Um, you know, I don't know why I expected it to be empty. I guess I just keep forgetting you've already been living here. <laughs> uh, um, so, how long did you say you've been living here? That's great. Oh, gee. I'm hungry. Would you like a serving? I'm making two servings. Sure. Cameron, did you know a French toast is American, not French? In actuality, French toast gets its name from Joseph French, the American innkeeper who was said to... Oh, it's time for work. It's an old house. It must be faulty wiring or something. Alice, don't do that. What? Why are you back so early? It's only... But I... you were just... It's time for bed. Your room is on the left. Your bathroom is on the right. Sleep well. Uh, okay, good night, I guess. Hey Cameron, it looks like you've got mail. Hey Alice, the, the mailman's here and he's acting really... Alice? This is a nice painting. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, listen, there's a guy outside... This is a nice painting. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. I am going to bed. I'm going to bed, and when I wake up, this is all going to stop. 
all of this is gonna stop. Just drowning and there. Uh... Wait. No, 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 no. You, you were just in the pool. You were, you were just drowning, Alice. Silly. I was just going for a swim. No, 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 no. No, 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 this, this isn't real, this can't be real, this isn't real, this can't, this can't be real, this isn't... No, 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 what is this? What the hell is this? I, I can't, I can't leave, I can't leave, what is, no! 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 Damn it! I want another Zim. I guess I'll start over. Right, and for our last film of the block, Love Angelica, give it up.
Who would have thought I'd be talking to you like this? Because I didn't. We were supposed to live our lives together. Now I'm talking to you through your grave. So have you heard back with your internship from Disney? No, I haven't, but they really need to hurry up. It's been two weeks since I've submitted it. Maybe it's because they don't want you. Like you're any better. Last time I checked, I was the one who won the national art competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's relax here, Mrs. I won the national art competition. At least I got my internship set for the summer. <laughs> <laughs> In all seriousness, I'm really going to miss you. The summer's gonna be so boring without you. Honestly, don't even sweat it. Even if Disney doesn't come back with an offer, there are still way more internships out there. Yeah, you're right. I'm really hoping that Disney comes through, though, since we both share the same dreams of becoming an artist. And honestly, don't even sweat it, though. Even if you don't get in, we still have each other, and that's really all that matters. Besides, who wouldn't want my incredibly talented, amazing national art competition <laughs> winner? Okay, enough of the jokes. This summer is going to be one of the best summers of all time. But anyway, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go throw this away. Hilarious, Bailey. I try to pull this stuff on me all the time, but it never works. Bailey. Bailey. Come on, Bailey, this isn't funny. Bailey, stop, come on. Bailey, Bailey, no, Bailey, no, 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 Such bullshit. Ah. 
Dear Bailey, it's been three weeks since you left. I'm going insane. I can't process all these thoughts and emotions in my head. I haven't been attending classes, and it's affecting my graduation now. I'm on the verge of being revoked for my summer internship, as they deemed me emotionally unstable. Looks like you're not the only one who's waiting for an internship. Last night, I completely lost it. I tried drawing for the first time, but I couldn't even complete it. I never knew how much you truly meant to me until now. I wish I could give you that last goodbye and tell you we will be okay. I hope you're making something incredible up there. Love, Angelica. I know you're here right now, but um, I hope you can hear me. I've not been doing too good since you've left, but I just want to let you know that I'm going to get better and I'm going to make you proud. I miss you a lot and I'm going to get better for you. I promise. Thanks, Bailey. Dear Bailey, it's been three months and I've come really far since I wrote you the letter at the tree. After finishing the drawing, I finally come to peace with your passing. It certainly wasn't easy, but I made you a promise. I was able to reach out and get help from others. My therapist is pretty cool. I've been doing so much better, getting ready to finish my last semester in college. I've even been eating, eating healthier and staying fit. You will never believe what happened. Guess who got their internship back? That's right, this girl did. 
I couldn't have done it without your help. You are the one that gets me motivated to continue chasing my career. I hope you are living it by showing all the angels how to draw or whatever you guys do up there. Keep that bitch on lock for me. Anyways, I have a class starting soon, so I'll be sure to live it up for the both of us. I'll miss you. Take care. Love, Angelica. In the meantime, we are going to be putting up a QR code on our screen, and that's going to be the audience choice award thing. So if you guys would like to start getting on that, you're more than welcome to. OK, is this mic good, Luis? We're good, OK. Uh, starting from screen right to screen left, uh, go ahead and say your name and the role in the film that you were involved with. Um, my name is Janet. Um, our film was Love Angelica, and I was producer and writer in it. Uh, yeah, our film is Love Angelica. I was the director, producer, and writer for it. Uh, my name's Joseph, and I was the second entity in the film. You're supposed to say the film. <laughs> Stuck Together. Uh, I'm Wesley Evans. I'm the writer and director of Stuck Together. I'm Josh Miranda. I was the uh, writer and director of photography for a simulation. I'm Cheyenne. I was the director and writer for a simulation. I'm Sam. I was the lead actor and editor for a simulation. I'm Nico Holt, and I am a producer, cameraman, and editor of the film The Lonely Shopping Cart. Thank you. Hello, my name is Aiden Griffith. I was the director of photography for the Drake Expedition. Hello, my name is Jordan Chan. I was the director and actor for the Great Expedition. Hey guys, my name is Zachary Skinner. I was the director and producer for A Man Named Worthless. Hello, my name is Joshua Hernandez and I was the editor of A Man Named Worthless. Hi, my name is Rayel Vargas. I was director and writer of Whispers of My Ex. Hello, I'm Tess Moya. I was the producer of Whispers of My Ex. My question is for the Lonely Shopping Cart crew. Um, were you guys asked to leave Target? And if so, how many times? <laughs> um, there were about twice. We actually, oh. we actually uh, did twice because uh, uh, there were two people um, came to me, came to me, and uh, and we were um, shooting, and all of a sudden. This uh, the security guard uh, came and uh, said uh, to not film um, other people. Uh, so we just uh, did trial and error. Uh, but um, yeah, we we did a great job uh, on the film and um, and we uh, uh, did the super eight. This is a super eight film, so it's a, um, a silent film was silent film but we i made uh the uh raw natural um uh, films uh raw natural uh audio and 
um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Was the Great Expedition inspired by shows like Parks and Rec and The Office? Uh, yeah, that was actually one of our main inspirations was The Office. Uh, we had a lot of fun just taking cues from them, like how they would like zoom in on their different actors and zoom back out for like different reactions. <laughs> there I go again. I just want to say to all of you, congratulations again. Wonderful. I enjoyed the film. And Nico, I love you. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> love you too. You Godmother. always follow your dreams. And all of you kids follow your dreams and keep going. Okay, congratulations to everybody. Thank you. Yeah, for a whisper of my ex, was the shot composition inspired by anything? It looked really nice, so. Um, not necessarily. We just took from different shows that we liked. Um, we have another cinematographer. He's not here. Um, but yeah, we just took inspiration. Oh, and Luis over there, he, he was part of it. Um, but yeah, we just kind of took inspiration from different films that we liked and um, I don't know, wanted to make the shots interesting. For simulation, what video games were you guys inspired by specifically? Uh, well, I mean, the most likely in the title, The Sims. Mm -hmm. um, oh, my bad. Yeah, The Sims was our biggest inspiration. Uh, we also kind of were inspired by the shows like The Truman Show mm -hmm. and even like, uh, what's the new one with uh, Ryan Reynolds? Oh, Free Guy. Free Guy? Free guy? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much those things inspired our idea. here. I can't remember the title of the. Yeah. Thank you, Whispers of My Ex. <laughs> hey, question for you, mm -hmm. my dear. Yes. Um, the lighting, did you guys use any gel lighting in that or how much of your lighting was post? Because I know you did the edits on that. Yeah, um, so the red lights were actually red light bulbs that we replaced. We just had everybody freeze <laughs> and we, <laughs> we changed the light bulbs um, and then we didn't use we used gel for a little bit to like fill lighting that we didn't have. Part. Yeah, but um, other than that, it was just natural red red light bulb. Yeah. Uh, for the Great Expedition, I just thought the dialogue was great. Um, it was funny. It seemed pretty natural. How much of that was scripted? How much of that was you guys just having fun? Um, so yeah, that was part of uh, our 48 hour challenge. So we did that in 48 hours. So it was really hard to write a script. So yeah, most of it was just us playing off of each other and um, just having fun. But yeah, it's great. Another question for the uh, Love Angelica crew. So you guys had a really beautiful cinematic, like 259 to 1 aspect ratio. Was that something you guys did in camera? Or was that something you guys did in post? And also may I ask why you guys wanted to go with the widescreen look for that? So yes, we, we wanted to do the 235 1 ratio for this, especially to create that dramatic, more intense feel to the film in itself. And I think it definitely worked. Uh, we shot it, we used the viewfinder, I set up the viewfinder where I just put the aspect ratio on and I also did a backup on my camera as well. So all I had to do in post was just put the crop uh, in there. So we just exactly matched up how it lined up. So that was pretty much our inspiration behind going the 235 one. I don't see a lot of it, but uh, if done right, it could be really effective in my opinion. All right, in the meantime.
meantime, everybody, we're going to get going for voting for the jury award and audience choice. We'll give you guys around five minutes and we'll give ourselves some time to congregate and decide. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming out here and we can't wait to crown a winner. Thank you.
Film Festival. So the very first award we're going to be giving out is the Audience Award. Again, the award for this, we're going to be giving the Audience Award trophy. We also have extras right here. So we have that Parasite Criterion in the three books on film. $90 value, by the way. Okay. Uh, can we get a drum roll? Yeah. Okay. It came from the microwave. Yeah, um, I just want to give a quick shout out to all of you guys. It was honestly an honor to play my film against, you know, alongside all of you guys to show like all the talent that you guys really brought. I know it's no easy feat to make a short film, even though it's a stupid microwave movie. So I really appreciate every effort and I see every effort that you guys put into your film. So I want to bow my head in your gratitude for sure. Thank you. All right. We're going to be giving out the Palomar Dior. Um, I don't know if I even said Dior right, but um, but basically this is the jury's choice. It is the biggest award of the night. You will be getting a one-year Criterion Channel subscription. You can access over a thousand types of films on that platform. So I assure you, if you watch a bunch of stuff on there, you'll learn. And yeah, do you want to? Does anybody want to give us a countdown? Two, three. Chip, 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 chip. Good point. Okay. Good point. One, two, three, go. Yeah, okay, yeah. One, two, three. Waffle, Waffle House. Thank you to Scott. I wouldn't have been able to make such a good film without your class and all the great equipment Palmar gave me. And thank you guys. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah uh, thank you guys so much for coming. This has been super fun to like, have you guys and show off your films. And we're so thankful that you guys trust us with this like time and space. And we're so thankful to champion you guys in this way. Um, this is our last semester as a film club president, so this is kind of like our little send off. So we're really thankful for you guys participating in this. So, yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, it's been a journey to get here. I mean, I've been a co president of the club since like my fall of 2021. So it's been a great time showing films to Palomar, getting to meet other people. Uh, most importantly, shout out to these two because they created the club. And um, yeah, I'm really glad that they put our trust in us and we're really glad that they formed something great. So appreciate you guys, thank you. And like, I, I mean, we started, we started just online, you know, having a couple meetings every week and just like mm -hmm. trying to get people just to even come to our meetings and stuff. So it's so amazing to see like so many wonderful and talented people come out and just share their films and share like just the presence with each other and being able to come back onto campus. So, and we couldn't have done it either without these guys, so we can give a round of applause to these guys too, like, so awesome, and you're like, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, just to reiterate everything you guys were saying, back in the fall of 2020, we were missing a very key communal element to filmmaking, and that was just the ability to enjoy films together, um, and, and, and be in a group, and, and just kind of enjoy the experience together, and talk about it together, and so that was kind of our main goal when we put together this club, and we couldn't have been lucky enough to have Amber and Patrick come in and really just champion everything that the club was about and really just blossom it into this beautiful experience that we've all had today. 
Um, and I couldn't be happier with how this went. I couldn't be happier with all the amazing films we saw today. It was incredibly difficult to try to narrow it down to one award because I wish we could give one to every single film we saw today because there was such incredible work put up on screen. So thank you guys for all your participation. Thank you for being here. Thank you to all of the uh, faculty who helped us out. Thank you, John, for just helping me and Sebastian get our club off the ground and getting us here to this point today. Um, and yeah, what an awesome day uh, for cinema. So it's really great. So thank you guys. <laughs>